hell is this? Emailing me at 1126. Send me an email with all the details. You've got mail. You've got, you've got mail. You, 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 you. You've got some mail. It's that time of the week, Aaron, and uh, we've got the love guru. I, I'm trying to get a voice. The love guru is on the phone. That's <laughs> so terrible. Deeper. The love, love guru is on the phone. <laughs> Jack <it>. Donovan, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you both? Good. Yes. Now, last week we were talking about the Fifty Shades of Grey, and you bored the crap out of me, but you had Aaron interested. <laughs> and, and, um, this week we have got one from Monique from West Lakes, and it says, I heard the love guru, Jane Donovan, talking about clean cleansing the relationship last week. However, I want to ask, how do I get over my past love? Okay, that's a great one, isn't it? Because I think that's something that most people have gone through at some point in their it's life, hard, where they're, you know, really hard getting over that bust up. Look, there's a few different tools that you can use, but one of the most powerful ones that I find is ask yourself this question. What is it I now know about myself that I didn't know about myself prior to having this relationship? So it's about owning your journey with this person. So, for example, you might have, you know, Monique, was it? Yeah, Monique from West Lakes. Monique, beautiful. Look, Monique might have, uh, you know, gone out with this gorgeous guy and he's ended it. But she might have found out about herself during the relationship that she actually was able to have really good boundaries in this relationship. And perhaps in past ones, she hadn't. She'd been more of a people pleaser. Or maybe she discovered that he was overseas all the time traveling for work or interstate or whatever and that she actually found that she could enjoy her own company and that was something that in relationships in the past she hadn't been able to do so there's a million different examples of what the gift could be but it's about really looking at how have I changed as a person because I had that relationship and then as you find the positives about how you know yourself better how you've grown as a person you can start to be grateful for the experience and as we get gratitude for the experience, it starts to lose its sting. It starts to lose the pain because now you're grateful, which, you know, it's a much better feeling to be grateful than it is to be vindictive or angry or depressed or sad. So what we want to do is climb this emotional ladder to get to a place where we're feeling better about the experience that we've had. So look for every single gift that you can find for why this relationship was of benefit to you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does, Jane. But what do you think about people that say you should sit down and write all the bad things about the relationship to make you feel better? Do you think that that's something that could be done? Yes, as well? I do. I think you do both. I'm a fan of positive and negative, not just the bad, not just mm. the good. So writing two lists or writing, you know, doesn't even, don't even have to stop and think whether it's positive or negative because sometimes things can fall into both categories, you know. Um, so definitely writing the lists helps you to gain clarity of why perhaps a particular person was not suited to you in your life. And maybe prior to having that relationship, you didn't have that clarity. You know, maybe you went into it thinking, oh, this seems like a nice person and, you know, we seem to be getting along well, so we'll just keep going. Now what's happened that the relationship's ended and you are able to write a list of negatives as well as positives, you're actually now gaining greater clarity of what it is that you desire in the future. So what you'll gain from writing the negatives is that you'll come up with two or three or maybe four things that you will not tolerate in another relationship. What I then encourage people to do is instead of focusing on the negative, spin it round to the positive. You know, what is the flip side of that? And start asking for it in a partner in the positive rather than focusing on the negative. Well, I got, uh, I tried to concentrate on why I got dumped and uh, I wasn't very good in the special hugs area. But, uh, Ah, tantric, darling, tantric. So uh, I need to practice to get back to being positive and uh, cleansing somehow. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it is about it is about looking at what you really did find in the relationship about yourself. So while you focused on why you got dumped, you can fix that. <laughs> I, I think effective time management is what it was called. <laughs> oh, Jay, Google Tantric. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Hopefully that's given Monique a little bit of an insight. I hope so. It's a painful thing to go through. And also date herself. Really give, like, that's... Don't get funny, Jay. No, I'm not. Thinking. 
I love that you knew straight away, Jane. <laughs> I've, been, eyes lit up. I've been dating myself for a while, and I love oh, romantic uh, movies on the couch with myself with a bag of chips, just quietly. Jay, stop it. But for beautiful Monique, I want her to really give herself treats every day, things that she enjoys. You know, Like doggy treats? It- <laughs> like, like beautiful, I'm ignoring you. Like beautiful bubble bath, or oh, okay. walk along the beach, or open a nice glass of wine, or watch a favourite DVD or movie. All the things that make you feel good, all the little tiny things, and make sure there's something every day that she's scheduling and looking forward to. And remember, dating detox. She's got to have no contact with this ex, no phone calls, no text messages, no looking at photos, face down, bottom of the drawer, because oxytocin's releasing in her bloodstream and continues to bond her with this ex if she does stay in touch with him. She needs to have one month off for every year, roughly, of the relationship. Or date Jay Bangers for a night and he'll show her how to have fun with my positive personality. That's it! Yay! Move on to somebody better. That's it. Go, Jay. Now, if anyone wants uh, to uh, ask you a question, uh, where can they find you? Okay, look, if they want to hit me up on Facebook, so it is James Love Shack, and they can uh, like that page, they can private message me, or uh, or hit, you know, put a message on the wall, whatever they're most comfortable with. And if her page is rugged, don't bother them knocking. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you next week, Jane. We Thanks, love you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Massive and HDF.